Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit If you appreciate being outdoors as much as we do, then you will enjoy this video. We are out here a lot at night, but it's not always cleaned. So in today's video, we are going to clean the whole patio. We are going to power wash it, pressure wash it, and then we're gonna move over to the sandbox, which we built last year. We're gonna clean out all the toys, get it kind of nice and neat. Then we're going to add landscaping lights to the huge landscaping project that we did a few months ago. And then we're gonna finish it up by planting or creating a new planter garden. Because it's a little late in the year to actually plant vegetables, then I'm going to turn it into a sunflower garden until we it's the right season for vegetables. It was super easy and affordable to make, so I'll show you exactly how we did it. It is hotter than heck out here in Texas, but we are going to get it done. Let's start by getting everything moved off of the patio so that we can clean up all of the dirt and mud. So we are actually preparing to have company over. So typically when we have a big party or a big gathering, that's when we get serious about cleaning off the whole patio. This little thing here is a surface cleaner. I think it's called surface cleaner. And it's basically a really powerful pressure washer and it cleans it like 10 times faster than if you were just to get a pressure washer and do it, you know, one little strip at a time. This is great for patios, driveways, even rugs or anything like that. Now I will say if you do use it on a rug, because this one is super powerful, I feel like it doesn't, it cleans our rug very, very well, but then the rug isn't as soft. Like it almost ruins it, like gets it, cleans it too much, if that makes any sense. But overall we can get the whole patio cleaned up in like 10 to 15 minutes with this. When we first bought this house eight years ago, one of our goals was to have a nice outdoor space. The concrete only came out to the part where it was covered. So what we first did was extended out the patio. We had somebody come and lay concrete to give us some more space. And then Chris and his dad actually laid each one of these um, travertine pieces down. They had never laid travertine tile before, so I picked out this design and they were like, are you serious? <laughs> so I, they somehow figured it out. I knew that they would make it work and they did and it looks great. And that was eight years ago. Then later on, we went and bought this outdoor kitchen. Our whole idea was that we were going to build one, but 
you know, not with not having any experience in doing it, it takes a lot longer doing it the first time around than if you're familiar with it. So we went to this outdoor grill place and we got talked into buying this outdoor grill and the like bar table area that went with it. So that was our next big upgrade to the patio. The cool thing and what was one of the things that sold us on that was that you can move it. So if you move houses, you can actually move the whole um, grill, bar, outdoor kitchen area. Now it is like 5,000 pounds. So will we do that? I have no idea, but that was our next kind of big upgrade out here. We then had a pool person come out and quote us a few years ago, but we decided against getting a pool and decided that maybe in our next future home, that will be something that we do prioritize. We also talked about building a pergola up here and we just haven't fully decided. So we have part of this patio is covered and part of it is not covered. And I don't know if we will end up adding a pergola. You guys let me know if you have pergolas, pros, cons. Do you love them? Do you recommend them? What do you think? And here I got, we found a little frog jumping around. He's kind of cute. Um, but then we'll finish cleaning up the space. So next I'm bringing out the pressure. This is a power washer. I think I called it a pressure washer earlier. Okay, so this is the power washer we'll bring out and then clean up. This is the whole outdoor grill I was talking about earlier or the outdoor kitchen set I was talking about earlier and then I'll also use it to clean off the patio furniture. If you're new here, I'm glad to have you. My name is Michelle. I'm a mom of three kids, five and under. So life is very chaotic, but Chris is my husband. And last year he quit his corporate job to pursue his landscaping business. So we do do a lot of, I'll include like outdoor cleaning and projects. And the bulk of my channel is a lot of realistic cleaning motivation because of the stage of life that we're in right now where everything is a mess, then my goal is to keep up with the mess, but also find practical ways to organize where it works, not just looks wise, but function wise. And I can't leave out decorating. And if Chris is able to join me, then we'll have a good DIY project. The goal of my entire channel is not to just entertain you or motivate you, it is to inspire you. It's to inspire you to do things that you never thought you could do. When you're filming all this and putting yourself on camera and this power washer is getting me soaking wet. There is good, there's bad, and then there's just the best you can do. So if you get any value out of this video, then I hope that you'll consider subscribing. So we built this whole play area last year and I will link that video because we had a ton of toys just laying around the yard and Chris would get upset because some of these bigger toys like this house and the trampoline would start killing the grass. When you have three kids in a five year period, at least for us, the toys went from like zero to a hundred real quick and we needed a solution to kind of contain all of the outdoor toys but also create a play area where we could store the toys, but they could also play with. 
we came up with the idea to build this huge sandbox and then landscape around it so that it looks kind of, I guess, pretty in our yard. Before I filmed this, we had had a bunch of rain, so that's why there's a bunch of water and sand in this playhouse, and we've thought about getting rid of it, but the girls love playing in here. So we're just gonna clean it out for now. But, so since it's been about a year since we built this sandbox, I know I got a lot of comments saying, you're gonna regret it because there's gonna be sand everywhere, and that is true. There is sand everywhere a lot, but it is so entertaining for them. Um, we were kind of against getting a, like a swing set thing again because Chris doesn't want anything in the grass. He doesn't want anything that will kill the grass. Uh, so that's why we just created this area. Now I will say it's not as bad as I thought it would be because before the girls and the kids are allowed inside, then we just have them hose off and then um, hop in the shower right after. have the whole sandbox cleaned out and next I'm using the Tinco cordless vacuum. I just detached the stick part and put on the small attachment to vacuum up these outdoor cushions. Originally we would have power washed them but we have company coming over like in a couple of hours so they wouldn't be dry um, if we were to power wash them. So why, while I am vacuuming up the cushions he is going to mow the grass quickly before we finish up for the day. Now, I did say that we just completed our whole landscaping project. So everything in the backyard there with the trees and all, we completed that a couple of months ago and I'll um, include that video down below and up in the, the top right corner. Now, I did decide to order a new outdoor rug for this area. For some reason, I had always gone with tan neutral colors and I wanted something blue. So I just kept looking at blue rugs and I almost bought a couple, but I ended up ordering this one from Rugs USA. It's a nine by 12 outdoor rug and I actually love the way it all turned out. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. When I was running errands one day, I saw this solar outdoor butterfly at Kohl's and I ended up, I had to pick it up. I wanted to put it in the flower garden. So basically it runs off of um, solar power, the sun, and then at night it just automatically turns on. So I didn't know what it would look like or how bright it would be. Um, I just kind of 
turned it on and put it out there and then um, set it out here and then I will we'll just see at night what it looks like. It's not as bright as I hoped it would be. I hoped like the whole butterfly would be lit up but it ended up not being, but I'll show you, show you guys in a minute. So what Chris is doing next is he's adding all of the landscaping lights. We ordered these tricolor willow trees from fastgrowingtrees.com. Yes, I did order these trees online and they came in and they were like four to five feet and they've grown really good since. And um, what we're planning on doing is adding one of these lights so that each tree will be lit up. They're not solar powered, but if I can remember what he told me is that at night, whenever the the sun goes down, it automatically like triggers the lights to come on. I don't know a lot about it, but something like that. So anyway, once they're all done, then this is how bright it kind of lights up the backyard at night, which looks so amazing and then over there on the right with the sandbox we do have those solar powered lights i think those lights are from costco but these are actual landscaping lights that he put in so if you are debating on adding landscaping lights to your backyard or even your front yard we have our trees our um, trees lit up in our front yard as well it just makes a big difference and it makes it look so much nicer and brighter Next, you guys remember the little butterfly that I showed you? There it is, it's lit up. It's darker, it, it changes colors. So it's darker than what I thought it was going to be, but I thought that it was, it was super cute to just put in the flower beds. So now that we have everything cleaned up, we're gonna move on to the second part of this video. And I had been asking Chris forever to um, build me like these planter boxes so that I could grow my own vegetables. And I was looking on some on Amazon and he's like, I can build you those. And I'm like, well then just build them. So we, he found, he, he has built these for customers before and anyone can do it. It's from Home Depot and I put a picture right here. It's a do-it-yourself planter wall. So you can design it any shape and level you want. So what we're using for the base are these planter wall boxes. And I took a video when we went to Home Depot and they're $3.38 for one block. And basically what you do is you slide the wood in between those. We ended up purchasing six pieces. So we did not get this one, but this was another option. We got the cedar and I didn't take a picture of it, but it is a two by six, 16 foot, piece of wood and we just cut it the length that we wanted to make the boxes but we could have had Home Depot cut it for us but we weren't exactly sure how we were going to to do it so he just cut it when we got home so these boxes ended up being three foot wide and five feet long so once you get the right measurement of the wood, then you just slide them in. Now, one issue we were having was with the cedar wood, it was a little bit thicker than what the slots were for these planter wall bricks. So he is hammering it down so that it's in there nice and sturdy, but later on, he actually started sanding the wood so that it would make it a little bit thinner so it'd slide in easier and then what he said was that that was getting a little complicated so then he ended up um, sanding the actual inside of the the concrete brick i think if we would have used the other type of wood it would have slid in easier but um, we opted for the cedar because cedar lasts longer and cedar smells really good i know that sounds weird but it does we've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you would draw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you help me the way i help you you don't have to save me just be my parachute when i'm feeling down you're just not there making sure i'm okay why don't you help me the way i help you so next we just stack the bricks and do the same thing so there is a little hole in there. So when you stack them, you can add some rebar and that holds them together, which we will add that later. We just didn't have it then. So as Chris is 
hammering this down he ends up breaking the brick thing so um, after we build this up uh, two levels we decide that we want to make it one more level higher so the next day we went and got some more material and some more of those stacking bricks and layered it one more level high We're putting some sand on the right side just to get everything evened and leveled out. The cool thing about these um, plant DIY planter boxes is that you can design it however you want. Like you can group them together, you can layer them as high or as low as you want and basically design it to your preference. I am excited to grow some fruits and vegetables so you don't have to have like a full on farm or chickens in your backyard to grow this kind of stuff. So if you are good at growing and you know all the right seasons, you know all the right stuff, then leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there is like a fall harvest vegetables. Like I know I can Google this, but I trust you guys more. So let me know what I should plant in the fall like as far as food or vegetables to grow. So our next step is once we got everything, the height that we wanted, then we're just going to add all of the soil. <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now so I initially had a couple ideas for this area. So if you remember my other landscaping video, we planted a lot of the hydrangeas in front of the trees and those didn't last too long. I think they are getting too much sun. Some of them are doing okay, some of them are not. So I was thinking, okay, if we made these planter boxes, we could shade this area a bit and then I could replant the hydrangeas. But then I ended up buying this little sunflower kit for the girls and I thought it was so cool. So I got the idea just to make this a sunflower garden because it's like full sun back here. They love the sun and I love sunflowers. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna plant some sunflowers here and then I'm also going to plant some seeds and then I'll show you how much they've grown in a couple of weeks. So there is a funny story. I was walking right uh, around the street one day and in our neighborhood that there is this one house and they have like 
a ton of flowers it, it kind of randomly and they have like this the these huge huge they looked like trees and I was walking by and I was like what is that and I look up and it's a 12 foot sunflower that has grown in their front yard which is super random it wasn't all bloomed out it was kind of like dead so that's why I didn't know what it was at first but whenever Chris was, um, I was like buying sunflower seeds, he's like, make sure they're not like 12 foot sunflower. And I'm like, yeah, good idea. So I think these get up to like, it said four to six feet. Um, so we'll just see if they make it that long. I'm newer to gardening. I do want to pick it up as a hobby. So we'll see how well I do. Hopefully if I grow some vegetables and stuff, it'll help me cook more. But um, I always just always imagine people who have vegetable gardens live in like on a farm and they can farm all this stuff. So I just never really thought about doing it in my backyard. I mean, we have done compost like we would take old seeds and Chris would throw it in the back flower bed and then we would grow random stuff. But there, there was never like a gardening aspect to it. It was just like, this is really random. And we would just pick whatever stuff grew. We've grown pumpkins on accident in our backyard. Now, nothing tasted good, I will say that, but um, there have been instances where it's happened. So leave me a comment below. Let me know the most interesting thing that you've grown in your backyard or in your garden before. Like mine would for sure be when the pumpkins grew. Right now I'm standing in a corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. So these were some of the sunflower seeds that I got, and they come in a variety of colors, so I'm just going to randomly plant them around it's like really hot outside so there's no rhyme or reason or anything to it i'm just going to plant them water them and then see if they grow so these were the original kits that i had gotten the girls and they planted their own sunflower seed and they've grown it's probably been a couple of weeks now we don't i don't see any blooms on it yet but i'm going to move those over to the sunflower garden and then just have this this go so Chris is going to add a sprinkler line I don't know he's gonna connect a sprinkler line in there so I don't have to water it every day but as for now I am going outside and making sure that it's watered at least I've been doing it like twice a day so it's looking good and the boxes were fairly easy and budget friendly to do so it's been about two weeks since I initially planted those sunflower seeds and you can see that several of them are already sprouting I don't know how long it's going to take for them to actually bloom because I have had the girls sunflower kit for well over a month and there's still no blooms on it, but they have sprouted. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you got an idea or two on something to do in your backyard. If you enjoyed the video, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you all next week.